Hi there. I'm making a quick um, video on how to load Stoneblock on your computer using MultiMC for a friend of mine and anyone else that wants to know, uh, especially since Twitch, the Twitch launcher is not using all the using the mod packs anymore. So first thing you want to do is go to your uh, web browser, Chrome or Firefox, whatever. I just type in uh, MultiMC. And uh, multimc.org is where you end up. Uh, go to download and install. Go to download and save file. And find the file it's saved as. And uh, what you want to do is open it up and either put it in a folder on your hard drive marked Minecraft, which is where I have mine. Or you can go right ahead and just put it on your desktop somewhere. So I have my multi-MC here. And then what you want to do is go to your multi-MC. And then English, next, finish. And then the next thing you want to do after you get to this screen, so go ahead and close that, is go to Profiles say manage profiles or accounts and then add and what you want to do this is where you add your um, your minecraft account so let's see if I can uh, remember mine right off the bat there we go pretty good okay so now that you have that Go ahead and close that, and you'll see your name is now up in the corner. And the next thing you want to do is go back to your browser and type in CurseForge. And then you'll want to click on Minecraft. And you want to type in StoneBlock. And we are currently using uh, not StoneBlock 2, because I think my computer's not good enough for that. Uh, click on stone block and as you can see it needs five to six gigs of RAM and a pretty good computer so I know one of us is using an i5 computer and it kind of lags but it's it's playable so I would change the allocation of RAM to six gigs but we'll do that later so go to file files and then click on the first thing that says stone block zip once you click on it, it'll come to this page where it's, you can have the download option. And what you want to do is download it to your computer. So save file, okay. What you want to do is navigate to that and know where it's at. Right now it's in my downloads folder. And go back to your multi-MC and add instance and import from zip and go to browse and then go to your downloads or wherever you save them at and find your stone block this is the old version of stone block stone block this one and click open and okay and what it's going to do is extract and install it and I might just fast forward to this Okay, there we go. Now, um, you can always change the icon if you want. I just like to ch choose the stone one. And what you want to do now is go to Edit Instance. Go to Settings. And go to the Memory. And you'll want to give it at least 6 gigabytes. So that's should be six gigabytes in megabytes, unfortunately. Um, close and then launch. 
it should take a little bit of time to load, uh, depending on your computer. My computer is not the greatest, it's kind of old. Finally, that took about, I don't know, seven, eight minutes. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll be a little bit uh, quicker the next time you launch it. Um, so, what you want to do now is go to multiplayer and type in your server. Uh, whatever and done and then it'll come up and play let's see my computer has some let's turn that down that's annoying to me okay So my computer has a problem with one of the mods on here. Let's see if it still makes my game crash. Alright, look at that. Looks like they fixed it. If you have the issue where your game crashes just before it loads in, you can go here, edit instance, go to loaded mods, and scroll down to... this one here and turn it off just untick the box because this is the one that was crashing my computer uh, and then save it and then start the game up but hopefully they fix that issue and that's it I'll try to uh, put the links to the multi-MC website and the Curse Forge website in the description and uh, not sure why mine is like this maybe F11 will make it full screen yeah there we go but that's it thanks